Hello, hola, my name is Ana Maria Aguirre Cardón, and I am from Colombia where I do my bachelor and my master's at the National University of Colombia. Now I'm doing my PhD in chemical engineering at Western University under Dr. Amal Zilba's supervision in the beautiful city of London, Ontario. Our paper is entitled Investigation of Biomass Concentration, Lipid Production and Cellulose Content in Chlorella vulgaris Cultures Using Response Surface Methodology. Our hypothesis was that a culture with high lipid productivity and low cellulose content as an indicator of cell wall thickness will improve the approach for biofuel production in microalgae system. This paper addresses the important problem of recovery of lipids from microalgae for biofuel application. It is known that carbon dioxide and nitrate enhance biomass growth and lipid yield. What is not known is how cell wall structures, which is a diffusional barrier, can change as well. In this paper, you will find a study on the simultaneous effect of carbon dioxide and sodium nitrate concentrations on Chlorella vulgaris biomass concentration, lipid productivity, and cellulose content. The last two by means of the ratio lipid productivity over cellulose content. The term lipid productivity over cellulose content ratio is applied as the parameter for optimization because the ratio between these variables has a more practical meaning than their independent study. Optimization of these parameters under the conditions studied was performed by response surface methodology, leading to optimum point and empirical equations for each parameter. The main goal of this paper was to study the effect of culture conditions on cellulose content. And the results of this paper can be applied in further experiments, where the cell wall plays an important role in lipid extraction processes. This is important because any small increase in the efficiency of this process can be translated into large savings in high volume. So as a conclusion for this paper, we found that first, Nitrate concentration has an important role, not only in biomass concentration, but also in lipid content. Second, we found that when we change the culture conditions, also the cellulose content changes. And third, we found that the empirical models we got from the experimental data were able to explain 96% of the variability in biomass concentration and 93% of the variability in lipid productivity over cellulose content ratio. And finally, we would like to thank biotechnology and bioengineering for inviting us to do this video about our paper. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We hope you find information you're looking for in our paper. Adios and have a good day.